There's something very interesting about the shape. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Tonight, we'll be watching the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Bulls in Chicago. For Chicago, both players and coaches have talked about Nightfall in the Windy City with the Willis Tower and the rest of downtown Chicago lighting up the sky. This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Milwaukee Bucks. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Here's a look now at what's coming up for the Milwaukee Bucks. On Monday, they'll go up against the Bulls in Chicago. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. And you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot manning the middle. And for Chicago, Markinen and Carter are up front. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. And it's White in at the point. Back to Bledsoe. The entire offseason leading up to tonight, Steve, as a player, do you already know if your team uh, has a chance to be special this early? You know, Kevin, yeah, you do. And I think the teams that I've been on and teams that you see and saying we don't have a chance to win, you try to trick yourself. You're looking at management and ownership. Can we make a deal throughout right. this year to get us in, in contention? But you got to be realistic. You know the team that you don't have a chance to win a championship. Levine can't hit. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And a hard finish there, guys. Yeah, and only one hand needed for that one. White the pass to Porter. 158 left in the first quarter of the game. Outside, Levine. Pocket six. Buries the long-range jumper. I like letting someone else play the setup, man. Levine just has to catch and hit the shot. Bloodshow outside. Middleton on the wing. Pulls it up. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. And with Otto Porter, the skills are always apparent with his play. And Smitty, you just like when he's playing aggressively on the floor. Yeah, it's something that his former coach, Scott Brooks, was always trying to promote to Porter. When he becomes more than just a catch-and-shoot threat, that's when his game is at his best. Bloodshow outside. And Giannis gets it to go on the assist by Bloodsoul. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Porter against Middleton. Porter, no luck. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. And it's sent back by Carter. That time, Carter's length and vertical paying dividends. He has tremendous potential as a rim protector. White finds Porter. Back to White. Bulls moving the ball around. Porter in the corner. Fires from deep. The rebound by the Bucks. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep one. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Milwaukee on top, leading by three. From the United Center in Chicago. Well, 
know there are a lot of letters that go into the spelling of Giannis Antetokounmpo's last name. He helped set the record straight of how you pronounce it. The Nigerian way, you gotta say with a D, so it's Antetokounmpo. But in the Greek way, you say with the NT, like Antetokounmpo. Whatever you got, just say, you know, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Seems easy enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I think a lot of people are going to stick with Giannis or the Greek freak. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. They've got Thomas Sadoransky. He's out there with Chris Dunn. Young is out there with Valentine. And it's Hutchinson in at the four. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's Young. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. Young's got the lead up to one now for the Bulls. And the Bulls had Boylan step in as an interim coach last season, Smitty, but decided to give him the keys to the car this year as well. A surprise move as Boylan immediately was at odds with the players. Management sided with the coach. Interesting message to send to a young team looking to develop. To the middle. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Hill. And now, here comes Anadokounmpo leading the break. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, guys, Giannis Adentokounmpo is the reigning MVP. He's the second Bucks player to win it since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And he's the third youngest MVP in league history. Kevin, he's just scratching the surface of what he'll do in this league. You said it, D.A., and some good facts in your report, too. Thank you. Six to shoot. There's Sadoransky. They get it back. That shot is off. And so he'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And onto Takumbo slams it in. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Passes it to Dunn. Young outside. Dunn against Hill. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Beautiful play by Dunn. You see the power, the body control, not to be denied. Well, so many people were worried about Chris Dunn's offense after his rookie year, but you know what, Greg? He's turned it around. And gone from struggling to hit 40% of his shots to shooting better from the floor. Still a strong defender, and he's making people forget that his offense was ever a question mark. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Carter, he's checked in for Young. Lowry Marketing comes in for Chandler Hutchison. Porter's checked in for Valentine. And Zach Levine subbed in for Sadoransky. The free throw drops in for Dunn. We've seen real improvement from Chris Dunn at the free throw line. Used to be his Achilles heel. Matthews against Levine. Middleton for three. Drills it from outside. Middleton's got his first three points of the game. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Pass to Markinen. Good work there as it goes. Markinen's got his first two points of the night. This shows Markinen's understanding of the game. You play me to shoot from the outside, well, I'm going inside. No good from Bloodsoe. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Here's Dunn. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Bucks lead by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and a competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. They did jump out to a lead in the opening period, but four points. And then... Ain't nothing to me. 
We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. His play so far is what fans love about him. He has gone right at the defense time and time again. And not standing around, not settling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Bucks, The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small forward. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, you'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And Greg, after this season, Antetokounmpo will be eligible to sign a Supermax extension. The Bucks want him to stay happy. The loss of Malcolm Brogdon last summer definitely stung. Trying to control costs, but you don't want to take a step back with Giannis's decision looming. And Levine, here we go. It's Chicago with another bucket. Right there, the burst of Zach Levine. Once he gets a step on you, it's hard to catch up. Bledsoe looking around. Pass to Giannis. Fades back. But he recovers it. Offensive rebound. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Giannis has got four points in the quarter. Matthews against Levine. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Wesley Matthews picks one up. Well, you just watch Levine play, and you can see the athleticism he possesses. Greg just explodes any time he wants to. And, and guys, with Levine, the speed and first step have always been there for him. But you can see the strength he's added to his game oh, since his rookie year whenever he break. goes at Two the rim. Free throw good, Levine. You see Zach Levine in the Bulls uniform, and it's hard not to think of the trade that sent him here. He was a big part of the deal that sent Jimmy Butler out of Chicago. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Young's checked in for Carter, and it's Denzel Valentine in for Porter. The Bucs also changing it up. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Andrew Kumbo. Pat Connaughton comes in for Wesley Matthews. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. And with Levine and the Butler trade, there were a lot of critics at the time. But you know what, Greg? It's worked out for the Bulls. And Kevin, the Bulls took a chance with Levine, and he's developed into a bright young star. Took another risk giving him a big contract after the injury, but he's come back better and stronger since then. And White kicks to Levine. Inside, here's Young. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Beautiful find by Levine there. Takes his time to survey the floor. Now the pass to Ilya Sova. Now Middleton, guarded by Levine. Middleton can't get it to go. Now here's Valentine. He's guarded by Hill. Here's Young, and no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Milwaukee has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside Hill. Back to Middleton. Got it off in time. No good on the last second attempt there. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Bucks ahead, up by one. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Dunn is out there with Sadoransky. Then there's Valentine. Then it's Young, and it's Hutchinson in at the four-man position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. 
passes to Lopez. Milwaukee keeping it alive. The new 14. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. First one falls for him. Some changes for Chicago. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Young. And it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Denzel Valentine. Antetokounmpo's checked in for the Bucks. Ludzo comes in for George Hill. And both free throws good for Ilyasova. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Ludzo against Dunn. Outside Porter. Shoots over Corver. Porter, no luck. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. No good from Connington. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Hutchison passes to Dunn. Here is Carter. Shoots over Corver, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. The thing about Carter, even though he loves to play back to the basket, he can also face up and knock down the jumper. Here's onto Takumbo. Off with the layup. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. They trail by one. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for Ilya Sova. And Marcelli Matthews subbed in for Kyle Korver. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the fourth. Outside Porter. To take the lead. Lopez with the block. It's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up with the SWAT. Want to see more of this from the big fella. Onto Takumbo, no good. Bulls have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Porter. Oh, and they take the lead. And the Bulls lead by one. In a tight game, get the ball to someone who won't shriek. Big shot by Porter. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by one. 115 left to play in the final quarter. Chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Zach Levine. And he's up over 50% from the field here tonight. And that speaks to how solid his shot selection has been. Nothing forced and really no bad decisions. Just good, smart, offensive basketball. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Markinen, he's checked in for Chandler Hutchison. Zach Levine comes in for Sadoransky, and it's wide in for Chris Dunn. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. This game is close, and he told his players, hey guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how they respond. Okay, David, thanks. Bledsoe outside. Thirty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Just five on the clock. Pass to Matthews. Yes! Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Chicago calls timeout. They trail by one. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter.
23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Doesn't go that time. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. And so they choose to intentionally foul. It's the first one, and that will put them up by two. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. You have to admire how calm he is under pressure at the free throw line in a key situation. And it's all about the three right here. And they're looking to tie it up. Live to play another period. We'll see what they run right here. From deep three-point range, can't knock in the three. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, road team, home team, all I know 